Okay, th th thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome to GRU, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day and coming on the show. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> so, like, the first thing I wanted to ask you is um, you, you have a, a, brand, a brand new film, and this is the first film that you're going to die – direct and what inspired you to want to die direct the film you know it's interesting i didn't uh i didn't write this to direct it i knew like the, i i always wrote a certain way and mm -hmm. i always had these experiences where when i wrote i would get rewritten or someone else's opinion would go in there from the producers or another director so um i watched the federico fellini interview and I, he, we had the same exact experiences, which is he, and I, and I found confidence in that interview to say, if I don't direct this, then I'm always going to be in the same position where I'm just going to write things and not, um, get them made or get them made my way. Um, so I would, I would say, I would, I'd be, I'm 90% sure about this is everything I write, I will direct or show run, hopefully. And I <laughs> never will direct anyone else's writing. Okay. Oh, okay. I, unless I, it was developed. I mean, there's a little window in there that probably would, but uh, most likely I will never direct anything I don't write and I wouldn't direct anyone else's writing, but that's just, that's it. Wow. Okay. And how, what, how did, how did you come up with, with writing, writing this, this, this this film like how, how did you de decide what what you wanted to write i knew the ending I'm, I'm assuming you watched it i knew the ending i knew that which which was based off an event that occurred the day after christmas in an office back in 1999 and i knew that i had to lead the its way to the end culturally like i felt like i couldn't write a story about just a regular office day, like people trying to close the deal or it had to have this like kind of cultural and social DNA. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and I just let it, and I try to keep it as interesting and, and engaging as possible just by using words as like dialogue. I mean, it's movies. I mean, it's very hyper communicative script. So I had to use that. And I knew I wrote good dialogue. I have always written good dialogue. I've always gotten that as a compliment. Um, so yeah, and I just use the craft, you know. I just use the craft of storytelling and screenwriting, and I just kind of try to, you know, for every if there was two characters in a room and they were fighting it out, I wanted to be make them both formidable, um, and I wanted you to not have one completely win the argument. I wanted both of them, unless it needed to move the story forward. But uh, yeah, but yeah, so I just kind of, you know, use the craft a lot to to be honest, and uh, as much as I could, because it's a very uncrafty script. There's no real, there's no three acts. There's no turning points. There's no, like typically I write an outline and then write, but uh, I didn't do that with this. I just wrote. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you got a really great cast too. And um, yeah, really talented. From Natasha, who was in Species, like that's one of my favorite films. <laughs> so how how did how did you wind up getting like this amazing? You, you know, so you know, I feel like there's three tiers to my actors, and 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 I'll I'll make this quick. I think you have these kind of working actors, which is like Paul, Alexis, like they work, they work for that's how they make their money and how they pay their bills. Then I have these like kind of professional actors that don't work but are still trying to crack through. That's like you know, no offense to them, hopefully they don't get mad at me even saying this, but like Preston and Joey, they're very talented, but they're you know they want to do more. And then I have complete unknowns who've never acted. Um, and I just, you know, some of them I knew personally, uh, Natasha, I got through Oliver who played Scott in the film. He's a very connected guy. He's, uh, he's up and coming. He's on a lot. He's actually the most active actor out of all of them right now. Um, oh, wow. yeah, no, Oliver's very active. He's like in Bulgaria right now, like shooting, um, uh, a Joel Kinnaman film. So, um, but anyway, yeah, I just got real lucky with some of them. And and uh, I knew some of them from, uh, my, you know, just being around for a while. And um, yeah, and it was fun working with them. Uh, some just read every word that I wrote and some I had to rewrite a lot of things. So that's part of, okay. bit, part of it, which was fun. <laughs> right. 
I mean, without giving too much away about the film, like it's no, all right. Actually, I spoiled. I had other interviews. I completely spoiled, alerted it. So, so <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> um, for 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 anyone who doesn't know about the film, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I mean, the movie's about an office shooting that literally comes out of nowhere, and everything that goes gets in, that's between that, like you know, before that is. Um, is just things that culturally we've been dealing with the last few years, either through COVID or, um, you know, mar like mar marginalization. Um, you know, it's a very polarizing film. It's a film that is probably going to get you heated and it's also going to make you laugh. Um, you know, there's a lot of characters that you might not like, but you might <laughs> also resonate with um and that was my goal i didn't want to i wanted to represent uh, like the audience at least connect to something um oh yeah and i feel like um that was intentional in the sense that I, it's an ensemble film um and uh yeah so hopefully that answered your question i don't know if it did oh, it's yeah. the films like like the thing with the, the the this is true the the thing for me with the film is like i never I don't want me to decide how you're supposed to feel about the film. You feel the way you want to feel. I, if I had a million people watch it, I want a million different conclusions or opinions. I want this film to end on your couch or by the water cooler or on social media. Like, go talk about it. Don't let me tell you what to feel and how to act. If you like someone, then you like someone. If you want to, and it's a very debatable film and it's a very age, like the, the it was like an ageism thing in the film, right? Like yeah. a 50 year old person is going to watch it different than a 20 year old person. That's a fact. Um, True. My True. sister's in her fifties. Her daughter's in her twenties. They they watch two totally different films. True, you're right. And your political <laughs> beliefs are going to change. It is going to weigh who you know, obviously. Um, so that was that was um not intentional how you think, but I think it's intentional that there's the real truth how you're supposed to write and 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 the craft what what the craft is actually supposed to do when you're writing. Um, I'm not writing an op ed. Um, you know, I'm painting a picture. Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, <clears throat> and when someone makes a, a a film, they usually have a scene or two that means the most to them, or a scene that they had the most fun doing. Is there any scene that stands out to you that 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 you liked the most or had the most fun doing? Anything with uh, Joey Oglesby, who plays Joe, and anything with it together, uh, Preston, who plays Deuce Man, those are my funnest. And I'll tell you why. It has nothing to do with any, like, um, I was able to break for Christmas and then shoot those last three days last. And it was just, it was nice to break and just enjoy the last three days. Um, I've known him for years. We're like, we're like friends. Uh, they're also great actors. Um, I think they steal the film. I hate to say that, but, uh, um, but it's, in my opinion, they do. Um, it's obviously easy to steal the film when they're making you laugh. Uh, they're like That's the comedy, like the buddy comedy within the film. So, um, uh, but yeah, those, those, I, I enjoyed those. I think that was more unrealistic. I don't know if that'll like, who knows if, you know, working with close friends who are just killing it and you know, they are, and it's funny and I'm laughing, I'm like laughing hysterically behind the camera. So to the point that I think I probably ruined a few, a few, uh, a few takes. So, um, but yeah, those, those were fun. But it was all fun. I mean, watching Richie act, working with Brian, working with Natasha, working with it was all it was all great. It was all truly an honor. Like, you know, I think you know, just I mean, the acting's great. You know, I I, I told someone earlier, it was like everyone brought their. It was game seven. Everyone was on there to play. No one looked at it as like a small shitty little film. Oh, the, people wanted to do. They wanted to be in it. You know, and then no one got paid. People got paid shit to work in this film. Okay, <laughs> and. What I what I love about about films, what I think makes a film besides the 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 pe the people in it is the music, the score, and how did how did you go uh, about like the score for the film? Wow, this is going to be a little embarrassing. Uh, it was all like free music that I scoured. You know what I mean, like the free licensing music. This some <laughs> score, there's some music in the film that I I I I I have to eventually purchase so but i don't know i mean i'm gonna deal with that when a buyer gets involved um so that'll probably change to be honest but, but that's only like a couple of songs um 
but um and hopefully I find something that's equivalent or because I'm on a festival circuit. So I'm, I, this isn't yeah. like no one can watch this. You know what I mean? Like it's, you can't go watch it anywhere. So, um, uh, unless you go to a festival and, uh, but yeah, like a lot of it was just kind of me, like trying to find the feeling of a song and a moment and where I needed it. Um, it's funny. Like, I think score, like you, you actually, one thing I've learned is like, you just can't throw music on anything right like there's scorable scenes and i have a lot of dialogue so it's kind of a really interesting thing but yeah it was just kind of scouring through the internet trying to find free music okay okay that works and there's a lot of <laughs> handicaps with this film i mean just when you do a small movie i mean like i would have liked to seen the three million dollar version of this film in a way right so <laughs> not because of the actors just because you know i i like just having more money helps you know Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and for the fans that went and saw the film at different different festivals and stuff, like what what are you hoping that fans take from from watching the movie? I think that you know, well, obviously, I, as far as that's a great question. I think within the like, and listen, I don't want to make too many statements about a film, you know, because that's not my that's my not not my goal. But I believe in the power of writing, and I think if we censor it too much, you know, I use some pretty harsh words in my film. It's 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 done slightly on purpose. I don't want to censor myself. Uh, I think it's done. Oh, yeah. No, but people do censor films. You know, I mean, people can't say that. You can't. I mean, that's the first thing I always heard. You can't do that. You can't say that. You can't do that. You can't say that. I'm like, you know, I'm like, well. No one cares, right? Like it's three hundred thousand. Like we, if I don't. I will say I get everyone's money back, but like if I don't, then no one gets it, right? So um, they don't. They didn't. No one made this movie thinking they were going to be billionaires, right? So, um, but as far you know, I just want maybe people to have a little more empathy and for people and maybe look at themselves in the mirror. I think it is a mirror. Like, do I am I that person? Because this is a very extreme version of people. I don't even know if these people actually exist. I just give you like the most extreme version and the and the extreme version of people exist now, right? So I'm just kind of like, are you that guy? Like, are you that girl? Are you that, I mean, you know, yeah. you are, you are, then just, you know, that's fine, you know, but I do want people to kind of watch the film and discuss it. I don't want, like I said, I don't want, my opinion means nothing. You know, I use craft and like I said, I didn't write an op-ed, I, I painted a photo. I'm an, I, I took, I, I did not take a political approach to this film. I took an artist approach and I, and I mean that, which is writing with a lot of empathy and my own pain, my own struggles, my own experiences or whatever. And I try to, you know, right that way. Um, so. Oh, wow. And this has nothing to do with the film. I always ask a question, like a yeah, yeah. kind of question. What is your go-to karaoke song if you were going to sing a song? <laughs> wow. Wow. Um <laughs> It'd have to be something I could sing that I feel like I could sing. I I don't know. I I, I want to. I got to answer this question. Um, uh, something. Just once by James Ingram. I think I could sing low. All right, there you I go. Like, like, yeah. I like a low, like like I can't hit high, so I got to go low. So James Ingram, just once. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and the the last question I will ask you is: Where can fans? follow the film and follow you at i'm not on social media i think it's a i don't think it's good uh but hey, if you're that that's for me um uh there's a there's a there's a instagram it's called another day in america movie they can go on there um honestly follow the actors follow the actors follow alexis okay. follow oliver that's probably better than following the film or following me okay that works <laughs> well thank thank you so much for taking time and doing the show and and i appreciate it and thank you again for doing it i appreciate you having me definitely talk soon okay. all right buddy